Farm Basics is brought to you by the Liberty Link Trait and Liberty Herbicide from Bayer. The most reliable weed management solution, Liberty Link and Liberty Herbicide are the link to efficient row crop production and sustainable weed management. Soybeans are a beautiful crop, especially when they're in full bloom and there's lots of either purple flowers or white flowers out in your field. That's a great thing, but for many farmers, shortly after this full bloom stage for soybeans is the flower abortion stage, and there's all these flowers that don't get pollinated. What's going on? Well, during our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk about this topic because the, the potential for soybeans is enormous. Farmers could get 400, 500 bushel per acre soybeans if they could ever figure out this one trick. It's how do we keep all those flowers there instead of having those flowers abort. Well, you think about four or 500 bushel soybeans, Brian, it would take a lot of fertility to get there. So we've it got would. a few it more would. hurdles rather than Certainly. just the abortion. But yep. still, when you look at flower abortion, we could easily be getting 100 bushel soybean average in our country. We're averaging around 40 bushel soybeans, but we're aborting so many flowers and so many potential pods on these soybean plants. What's going on? Well, the, yeah. Yeah, but the reason why is because any plant out there, its whole goal in life is to reproduce. It just wants to put seeds on that are going to be viable seeds, not just kind of half seeds that aren't going to be able to germinate the next year. So the plant determines, uh, I've got too many stress conditions, I just can't make it, I don't have enough fertility or whatever the case may be. And so the plant says, I'm going to abort all those flowers because I know I can't have that many good seeds. So as farmers, what we're trying to do is reduce every stress we can possibly think of in the soybean field. So it starts early in the season. So farmers, before they've even taken the seed out of the bag and put a kernel into the ground, what they're looking at is what can I do for the soil? Do I need to do some tillage? Do I need to move some residue around to make it easier for that plant to come up? Can I put some fertility down ahead of planting? So when the soybean plant just starts growing, everything's perfect for it. This field, we were just talking as we got here about some disease conditions because we've had heavy rains uh, through the spring and uh, you know June was just an incredibly wet month for us and and we had a lot of issues with disease so we were out trying to prevent disease in soybeans and other crops and we're looking at insects and weed control throughout the years we'll talk about with our weed of the week it doesn't just end uh, with that first pass through the field sometimes we have to come back multiple times to try to control weeds that are popping up later and with soybeans they need so much of their fertility late in the season. That's one thing that's really different about this broadleaf crop. Once we hit these reproductive stages, they really have to do a lot of things in a hurry. Right, so that's why we talk about these flowers and it really makes a difference what happens when flowers do start to show up on the soybean plants. Early in the year, all the plants are doing is just having vegetative growth. They're building the root system. They're building the overall stem and leaf system. But then once they start flowering, after that, pods will come and that's when the seeds will start to fill in. That's when the plant does need a tremendous amount of fertility. So a lot of farmers across the country work on, well, what can I do once we hit these reproductive stages to really try to convince the plant that, hey, there's gonna be plenty of moisture. There's gonna be plenty of fertility. And it starts with the early season things to influence rooting depth to try to get roots down deeper just in case we hit a dry spell that soybeans will still have plenty of water. Then the next thing is really to get that root system to expand so to have plenty of fertility throughout the soil profile. Then at the reproductive stages farmers will be applying some fertility above ground. Maybe that's foliar fertilizer that we just try to land on the leaves to try and feed some nutrients through the leaves but not all nutrients can get through the leaf tissue like phosphorus for example we've got to get that through the soil to come up into the plant and so farmers will look at, hey, let's try and time this where I put some food out there either right before or right after a rainfall so we can try and push some more nutrients into the crop. As you can see, as farmers, we have a lot of things that we have to look at and that we have to consider when it comes to soybeans if we're going to have a great crop. And again, this flower abortion thing is a really big deal. If we can get the plant to just keep some more flowers, usually we're going to have higher yields. Well, we focused on a lot of things in soybeans there, but weed control is still really important, especially if you have our Weed of the Week. We'll show you how to stop this tough weed later in the show. <laughs> 